hi everyone welcome back to a new video so in this video we'll see how we can configure spring boot in our eclipse ide and uh, if i give you a brief about the spring boot what is uh, spring boot is so and nowadays in the it industry most of them if suppose they are using or they are, if they are implementing java backend in any backend applications or in any uh, in any application if they are using java as a backend in 100 we can see 80 percent of the companies or the developers are going to use this spring boot application so we'll see how we can uh, make an application using spring boot uh, in in this series we'll come to know like each and every step we're going to cover so uh, how to create a backend and how to create a front end and also in this uh, channel will create a one complete full stack application okay so now today or, or in this video we'll see how to configure that spring boot application in our eclipse okay that's the main motor over here so first and foremost thing everyone just open your eclipse first so here i'm going to open my eclipse ide just open your eclipse ide so it will take some time to open so in the meantime we'll go to our chrome now so just open your chrome browser or any browser which you like so here i am using chrome i'll just open chrome and eclipse it will take some time to open so yeah that's what so now uh, search for spring okay spring all right so here here the first thing you'll get a spring.io so this is the official website website of spring framework so you can uh, learn spring over here as well some of the documentation and few things which is available in the spring website so now what we need we need a spring boot application we need to make a spring boot application so just go back here you can see something called initializer initializer so just select this okay so now uh, let me check whether eclipse is okay launch all right so here what you can see let me give a brief about this uh, dashboard or whatever the window which you are seeing right now so first we'll come over this point so it's a spring initializer so project so we are using maven project as our java backend development okay and the language we are using obviously it is java and by default it is taking the recommended version which is 2.6.6 and i don't want to change my mind so i'll go for this version itself and here this is the main part over here like what all the name which you want to give your backend application or a spring boot application has to be over here so what is this group so this is group nothing but uh, there are a few packages or in spring boot we have design patterns like mvc and dao design pattern and we'll see what are those design pattern is as of now this is the group where the group uh, name you have to give for your project as of now uh, by default uh, when we open our spring initializer for the first time it will take as comrade example so as of now we'll change this name instead of comrade example let's keep it as com dot learning spring okay or else we'll keep it as learning itself that's fine so learning okay all right so here uh, artifact id let's keep it uh, spring learning okay like this and here this is the description you can give any description as per the your uh, what is your project is all about so let's say uh, a simple project to understand understand spring boot okay so here the packaging this is the most important 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 in spring boot so you need to follow a certain package rule like you will be creating multiple java files and interfaces everything right so you need to follow a certain package in a perfect order way so we have like com.learning.springlearning it took from the group like starting and uh, it takes the name of this so uh, i don't want this uh, lengthy one so i'll keep it com.learning that's all com.learning this is fine for me so here the packaging you can keep it war or you can keep it jar so i'll go for war and uh, you can choose the version 11 as well and uh, normally uh, in my system java 8 version has been installed and it is a very convenient version so i'll go for 8 and you can go for 11 as well or if you have already installed 18 or 17 you can go 
no problem or uh, there is no uh, no much changes in that okay so here this is dependencies so what are these dependencies so normally in spring there are multiple things are there as i told it's a back end application so if it is a back end you will be using database correct so database in the sense they will come on mysql correct so those all are different dependencies you need to add for your project like a jar folder or the dependencies so as of now we are making a back end application obviously back end will be job means something has to be in a front end right so it's like a uh, web page so or a web application so first and foremost thing we'll take spring boot dependencies sorry spring web dependency so if you read the description work here like build web including restful application restful application using spring mvc spring mvc means my uh, uh, spring mvc and uh, uh, apache tomcat so just remember this i'll just show you what is uh, apache tomcat is okay all right uh, next all right so here if you uh, click on add dependencies you you can find multiple dependencies so and we have we need to use something called spring dev tools also and as of now we are just starting with the spring mode so i don't want to go for this but when we uh, start with our application so we'll include this dev tool as well and suppose if you are using uh, uh, database means if you need to include mysql driver as well means that is the also a dependency and uh we suppose if you want to use a database so let's say database like this data base so here you can see plenty of database like h2 database hyper sql database and uh h2 database is an in memory database and the fast database so instead of installing any separate uh, server or separate uh, database in your system you can go for this uh we'll also cover this topic in the series as well don't worry with that i'm here okay so as of now we'll keep it one dependency and we'll see whether a project and how we can include this project in our eclipse okay so our eclipse has been open already so now what you can do over here means you need to click on generate okay so just click on generate and here this spring initializer converts all of this and make a zip folder so this is our spring boot application so i'll just open this folder okay like this uh and i'll extract this folder i don't want to uh, uh paste this folder in someone else so i'll just uh, extract here as well so extract files okay click on okay so file has been extracted as of now as you can see spring learning so i'll close this tab so i'll go for my eclipse now so here what you can do here if you bring this you can see a project explorer over here okay just a second yeah so we got us a uh, project learning so this was the two uh, previous one which we have included so let's keep it like that only okay no need to delete so just click a right button over in this package explorer so we'll get like this window so oh, it will take some time in my case okay yeah so click a right button uh, okay so here i'm getting all right so oh, so sorry it was about to delete all right so right button over here or uh, okay it's working on all right so here just go for import option where you need to uh, select the folder which you have just downloaded right so just click on import and go for your path oh okay before here you need uh, you need to search for maven okay maven here you'll get uh, maven like this so since it's the maven project over here like as you can see we have selected maven project right so that's why you need to select as maven project so select as existing project and click on next and here next what we have we have something called pom.xm okay wait 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 all right okay this was a previous project which was selected don't worry so here uh, you guys will be getting a blank over here so now click on browse and select the folder so where is that folder it is in the downloads so which is my folder spring learning i'll select this folder and select folder so here a spring learning slash pom example file will be checked this has to be checked and i'll tell you this is the important file in our entire spring boot application okay so just click on finish and see at the bottom side you can see importing maven projects right bottom right side 
and it will say take some time to download the dependencies and to load the project and it it, it need to build a project and it will take some time and have some patience so that it uh, gets completely and then you can follow this video okay Also, I'll just uh, expand the Spring Learning. Just observe over here. So, when you import this for the first time, uh, you won't see plenty of these files. So, these folders or these files will be downloaded using Spring Boot. So, as you can see, at the bottom right side, that building everything is finished. So, my project has been opened over here. I mean, uh, all the files on the uh, documents or building everything is done. So now if you see over here, first and foremost thing, I'll go with the form.xm which, which is the last file in this project. So just open that folder. So what is this folder? As I told, form.xml is the important file, important file in Spring Boot application. And we can call it as a heart of Spring Boot application, okay? See in the beginning, uh, in the Spring Boot initializer, we have gave a group ID over here, right? Group ID, artifact ID, the snapshot which we selected, war, and the Spring Learning, and the description, everything will be there over here. And the version which I selected, it is Java 8, right? So Java 8. Okay, so what is the important part I was telling about? So, the important part over here is just, okay. So what all the dependencies which you include for your Spring Boot application? All of those dependencies will be in form.xml. And here if you see in the JRE system library, so what and all you are given dependencies that will be installed in this. I mean the jar files or anything like that. All right. So here as you can see that dependencies. So we have included a dependency called Spring Web Rat in our initializer. Hope you guys remember. So if uh, if you don't mind, let me show you over here. We have included Spring Web Rat. And here, here you can see Tomcat server as well. So this is our Spring Web dependencies. And if you can observe over here, there are two more extra dependencies over here. So what are these extra dependencies? And first one over here is Tomcat. So this dependencies will come along with the Spring Web. So what is this Tomcat? So Tomcat is a server. I'll just show you. Uh, I'll just uh, run this application so that you, can, you will understand this Tomcat. Okay. And the next one, what you have uh, dependencies is. So this dependency is to test the project. Okay. If you observe over here, there are two types of folder, which is source main Java and source test Java. So if you want to test your application, like giving uh, test cases, so here you can see com.learning package and inside you can see a test Java class file, see spring learning application test. So if you want to test your application, you can give test cases over here. All right. So let me close this now. So next, so these are the dependencies. So we'll be including few of the dependencies in the future in upcoming uh, series or in upcoming episodes. Okay. So we'll see that. So I'll close this now, these two files, which I don't want. Okay. So now we'll check whether all the dependencies have been installed and our application is working or not. So I'll, I'll expand this and expand this package. So this is our package, right? Com.learning. All right. So inside that package, you'll get two files. And I think most of them got fewer one files, I guess. But normally uh, it's completely okay. Sometimes you'll get two files and sometimes you'll get only one file. But basically in the common you'll get this file. This file will be this like the main application dot java application dot java file will be there. This is a server initializer. Sometimes it gets installed and sometimes it, it is not going to be installed along with this. But don't worry with it. Yeah, there won't be any problem with your project when you're making a project. Okay. So just open this file spring learning application dot java. Okay. So here you can see, uh, as you guys already know, when you when the program want to run main, the program execution starts from a main function. 
correct i i hope you guys know about this so here this is our main function void main so our program or a project execution start from the main function over here and here you can see something which is very different for you guys i guess correct so what is this so spring boot application so for this we call as annotation which is annotated at at so at spring boot application means so we are telling to this application that this is a spring boot application okay all right so now what we'll do we'll run this application so we are not creating any files as of now or we are not creating any project over here we just configuring the spring boot in our eclipse that's it so now we'll run this application which is spring learning just select this click a right button and go for run as run as java application and sometimes you'll get spring boot as well so in my case i'm not getting so but don't worry java application spring boot both are same just click on java application and here uh, the execution started and it will take couple of seconds to start okay as you can see okay here you will get a window over here where you need to select the application name so what's our application name application name is spring learning right so if i scroll down over here so i need to find spring application okay oh uh, yeah spring learning application which is our main class file spring learning application we have over here right so here so that is this com dot learning so just click on ok and here as you can see in the console the system or the application started running over here so i'll expand this for understanding purpose the console i have expanded the console so your application started as spring over here so you have successfully configured spring in your eclipse id so if you bring this or slide it a little bit right side here you can see something called tomcat tomcat so if you see over here tomcat web server as i told tomcat is a server okay that will be included in a spring boot application so tomcat helps us to run our spring boot application tomcat is a server okay and here you can see in the next uh, way or in the next over here tomcat initialize with the port 8080 so what does it what does this mean is so your application is running in the port number 8080 so we can change the port number as well but don't worry i'll just show you in upcoming series we'll cover step by step you'll understand so if you have any question which you can ask in the chat box no problem so i'll reply each and every comments okay i mean uh, comment section not the chat box okay yeah so now our application started without any error so now yeah that's all okay so we have successfully configured our spring boot application in eclipse id so that's all for this video so in the next video onward we'll start with our actual application we'll be building our actual application so we'll see what uh, we'll develop our backend application using spring boot which is uh, completely based on java okay so yeah uh thank you guys and we'll see you in our next video until then take care goodbye bye bye